calls for Catholic Church apology after mass grave of Native children found in Canada. The discovery of the Tkengloopste Sekwapemp First Nation children's remains, so um, that's an indigenous group in Canada, um, on May 24th has re recommenced calls for the Roman Catholic Church to apologize for its part in Canada's policy of the 19th and 20th centuries. During that period, indig indigenous children were removed from families to attend state-funded residential schools. Chief Roseanne uh, Casimir said in a statement that more bodies may be found as all areas had not been searched at the Kamloops Indian Residential School. The Catholic Church operated the school from 1890 to 1969, prior to the Canadian government taking over its management until the school's closure in 1978. This Truth and Reconciliation Commission has pressed the Pope to apologize. Executive Director Cindy Blackstock of First Nations Child and Family Caring Society noted that the Catholic Church has yet to accept full responsibilities for reparations to families. So I want to touch on this because this is very big news. And um, there were like hundreds of remains found of children on the land of this residential school. 215 children, some as young as three. And there are so many questions, like a lot of the stuff that went on in these residential schools and stuff like this happened in America as well is absolutely horrific. Um, it's recognized by many people as a cultural genocide. Um, Rivka touched in on this earlier in the stream today when we were Wait, talking this about this is actual genocide, not cultural genocide. This yes, but genocide. I'm talking about the specific um, structure, institution, and system of these schools. Um, sorry, it, Rivka touched on it earlier when we were talking about what's happening to the Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang, and she referenced this. Well, now this incident in Canada's history is coming back into the forefront as all these remains were found at this residential schools. I mean, um, kids would die of starvation and we, we don't know exactly what happened to all these children. Like they said, it is likely that more remains will be found. Um, many of the almost 150,000 children attending schools from 1883 to 1996. This system was active in Canada while I was alive. Okay, so until 1996 to assimilate them into white Canadian society, encountered neglect and abuse as their native languages and cultures were forbidden. Um, Canada's government officially apologized in 2008, admitting the physical and sexual abuse in the schools was widespread. Um, so I was watching a little short clip of news about this today, and um, Trudeau was saying that the Catholic Church will may be criminally investigated for this. So if so, that is huge. Wow. That's the first time we, yeah. Thank you, Trudeau. I guess amazing. Um, I, I I don't know if people understand how big of a news this was in the past week or so. This was like a this this spread shock waves in Canada. It's very interesting because for a long time we were told in Canada about like oh yeah the crimes of the Catholic Church uh, in the past to the natives. And we were always like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, dark, dark history, dark past. And everybody kind of knew, like, yeah, there's some, I don't know what, but, yeah, I guess, like, the Catholic Church did some things to the Native children. You know, like, so, most people knew something about it, but, like, we were told about it in the schools and university and some places and other places, but we didn't, but now all of a sudden with the discovery of these um, remains of children, this was, like, it went from being like, oh, yeah, I guess like the Catholic Church did something bad back in the history that we don't know what. Now it's like, 
everyone is like, holy fucking shit, what the hell did they do? Like it's it's brought it ha- is highlighting it in all of Canada in such a way that I didn't think it was possible. Like this is major news right now in Canada, so much so that even the content creators usually that don't highlight Canada, they're highlighting this. This is how big of a deal it was. And by by the way, the numbers of the bodies of children that they have found is like it's a fraction like for many years a lot of activists was trying to were trying to bring attention to this and they are they they assumed a lot of these children had died because they went missing and these are children that were forcefully removed from their parents like this is not like oh yeah ma- let's make it b- motivate you like i don't know somehow give you some uh, mm, cause to manipulate you in a way to give up your children so we could christianize them no this was like we don't want we want our kids like no we're gonna physically remove these kids from your care and physically like take them away and put them in schools with the intention of christianizing them like with like this is not like something that they didn't open about it like yeah you guys are heathens this is a christian country we need to make you we may, we need to fix this problem by making your kids christian to save this nation this is canada we're not talking guys we're not talking united states we're not talking like brazil we're not talking um philippines like these are christian countries that people think about like overly christian we're talking canada all right and we're we're talking canada continuing to do this while we were alive as susanna mentioned right like this is recent history right anyway susanna you have your hand up um yeah so uh they to give a little bit more context um wait where was this number um they were saying that they believe the actual count may be somewhere around okay here we go um while it's not known yet how the children died, quote, accidents, fires, and contagious illnesses at residential schools all contributed to a high death toll, which the Truth and Reconciliation Commission has estimated at more than 4,000 children. Um, the Roman Catholic Church has declined to apologize for its role in what Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission found in 2015 to be cultural genocide, despite Trudeau writing to Pope Francis to ask for one. So let me rephrase that. In 2015, Canada's own government recognized their actions as cultural genocide. At that point in time, the Prime Minister of Canada wrote to the Catholic Church asking for an apology to the Indigenous peoples of Canada. The Roman Catholic Church said no. So that was in 2015. Now this has happened again, and this has reignited calls for accountability and action. But I would actually like to play Trudeau's exact comments very quickly um, because I just thought it'd be good to show. So um, let me know if you guys can hear this. Head of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, went a step further. Now before uh, we have to start taking the Catholic Church to court, Uh, I am very hopeful uh, that uh, religious leaders uh, will understand that this is something they need to participate in uh, and not hide from. The head of the indigenous... That's pretty... That is strong language. He said, before we start taking them to court. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to start getting with the program, essentially. I I wanted to... I want it to be become normalized. Like I think, if one cr- country leads, you know, how, you know how in like France, I, we were hoping that maybe Macron could lead the way in normalizing a liberal government actually taking a stance against, um, you know, segregation and stuff like that. Um, and I think like because they did, they went overboard in some areas. That might not actually happen. Unfortunately, we, uh, we don't know. We'll see. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping like Trudeau. I mean, Trudeau made many mistakes, but I'm hoping on this, he normalizes, like takes the lead to make it normal. For I mean, Australia has taken the lead, actually. Let's say, let's actually be, Australia has made it um, popular to uh, take Catholic priests to court. So that's great. But I hope more countries like make this a, a thing. 
make the whole thing go bankrupt, right? Um, as as strong as this is, okay. If I was a, the dictator of Canada, okay, um, this is like naive, op optimistic dreaming that would never happen. What would happen under my regime would be that we're shutting every church down and you pay you guys have to pay reparations right like we we will cut not only we cut we're, we're going to close every church we're going to close down vatican's embassy and we're going to hold italy's government responsible at forcing the like seizure of assets of the Vatican so that we could that could be like we will take them to international courts for them not apology I mean like you know what I would say don't even bother we don't want apology we want reparations we want you to guys like every, our natives to, today need to get paid by Vatican assets we need to sell your art so you could afford paying our natives that would be like I would like don't even bother wasting your and all the legal fees so it doesn't cost any taxpayers money. Exactly. when you lose the case you pay the legal fees so exactly exactly i would take him to the hague i would be like yeah this is like yeah i mean the but, canadian government would be part of that as well because the system wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the canadian government i'm that's part of what this truth and reconciliation yeah, committee is about like they yeah, gotta pay I, their reparations too i know i know but i'm just saying in well yeah of course you're right they should but uh, but none of this would ever happen i'm just saying because this is like the catholic church is too powerful for this level of aggression so in if i again that would require me to be a dictator rather than again that would never happen but it would be it would be what i would do probably i would lose off lose my um office very shortly after doing that but it would be it, it, it would, I will go down. I will go down as a legend, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't remain in power. It'd be so worth it. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.